What's up guys, today we're going over the top 7 tweaks of June. Alright, so to start things off, I'll get the iPad tweak out of the way, because I know you guys are probably here for iPhone and iPod tweaks, but this one is called Mountain Lion Center for iPad, and it's free from the Big Boss repo, and what this tweak will allow you to do is just swipe from the right of the screen with two fingers, and that'll bring up your notification center here. Now I've got IntelliScreen X installed, so you can go ahead and swipe and see all your mail, your Facebook, your Twitter, and your RSS feeds. But even if you just have the regular notification center, still really cool, a quick swipe to open and close from the right of your iPad. And of course, this one is inspired by OS X Mountain Lion. So that's Mountain Lion Center for iPad, and again, it's free from the Big Boss repo. Alright, so next up is a tweak called Plan B, and Plan B is free from the iGeeks repo, and I'll leave that link in the description below. So what Plan B will give you is a backup plan in case you ever forget your passcode lock for your iDevice. So here you can, of course, swipe to unlock, and if you just cannot remember your passcode for the life of you, then uh, you can just click on Cancel down here and just tap on Execute Plan B. So then it'll ask you a couple questions which you set in your settings application. So for me here, where were you born? So let's go ahead and put that in. I was born in Toronto. There we go. And can I has cheeseburger? And my answer to that, LOL, nope. All right, so then it'll actually show you your, uh, your passcode there, which mine is 9868. Thanks, and just key it in and you're good to go. So a quick simple backup plan for any time you forget your passcode lock on your iDevice. So again, that one's called Plan B and it's free from the iGeeks repo. All right, so for the next tweak, I decided to make my iPhone white and change the theme. But anyways, the next tweak is called Facebook This and it's free from the Big Boss repo. And it basically is the answer to iOS 6's Facebook integration, but for iOS 5. So you can just bounce into your photos application, select a photo that you like or that you want to share on Facebook and select that share button on the bottom left corner there and then just tap on Facebook and you can put in a little message so this is a test and then just tap on OK. The first time through it's going to have you authenticate with an application called Sarah which is made by the same developer as Facebook This but then once you have that authentication all ready to go, it'll just redirect you to Facebook and start uploading the photo. All right, so once it's done, it'll just load up mobile Facebook so you can just scroll and there it is. This is a test. So that's Facebook This, again, free from the Big Boss repo. All right, so up next is InstaSocial from the Big Boss repo and this one is $1.99. And what InstaSocial will allow you to do is pretty much post tweets and Facebook status updates from your notification center. First things first though, you'll want to go into your settings application to set this guy up. So just go into notifications and where it says in notification center, you want to scroll down until you get to the InstaShare widget. There it is there. So just tap on that and switch it to on. All right, so once you switch that on, you can just drop down your notification center here, enter in whatever text you want to enter in and then deduct, sure, why not? And then you can just tap on OK. So when you tap on that, you got a choice of Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, or you can set it to always send it to Facebook, always Twitter, or always Google+, or always ask. You can also tap on the camera icon there, and that way you can take a picture and upload it. And you can also tap on the microphone here, and that way it'll just do a voice to speech so you can speak into it. It'll translate that to text, and you can send that out to your favorite social network as well. So that's InstaSocial. Again, it's $1.99 from the Big Boss repo. All right, so next up is a tweak called CamStamp. And with CamStamp, you can just open your Photos application, select any photo that you want, and it'll show you right here the date and time that you took that photo. So this is an extremely simple tweak, but it could be very useful if you want to know uh, what time you took any of your photos or even your videos here. Again, you get that time and date at the bottom. So again, super simple. This one's called CamStamp. It's a dollar from the Big Boss repo. All right, next up is a tweet called AppSent. And AppSent will basically just show you the status of your download for any app in the App Store and give the actual percentage number. So let's go ahead and download this uh, Comics application, which I've never used before, but I'm kind of looking forward to using it. So let's just tap on Install. 
and I'll put in my password. All right, so then it'll start to download. As you can see here at the bottom, it shows the percentage. So there we go, one, four, six, eight. Very useful for installing applications that are pretty hefty. So there you have it, AppSent. This one's free from the Mod My Eye repo. All right, so last but not least is a tweak called Animate Lock Screen, and this one is $1 from the Big Boss repo. So with Animate Lock Screen, if you just bounce into your lock screen here, you can see that you've got some animations going on, and you can set these animations to any boot logo that's available in Cydia, which is really cool. So I'll show you how to set it here. You just wanna go into your settings application, and then there you go, you have Animate LS. So in your settings, you've got tons of options to play with, um, like only in charging mode. Um, you can choose your animation, of course, and again, all these extras will be any of the uh, boot logo animations that you can get from Cydia. So you can customize that however you like. Your changes, you'll want to respring to activate some of your changes. The animation time you can set. So here, if I just set that really low, then you'll see that it goes much faster. And you, as you can see there, I did that without having to respring. So some of those changes you can actually... That's twice now I messed that up. I'm going to have to use plan B here. You can actually set a lot of your um, changes without having to respring. Of course you'll want to hide the battery because the battery really sticks out in front of uh, in front of your animation. But lots to configure as I said. Activate custom background, show HUD which is your heads up display, um, show original background, you can move and change the size of the battery and whatnot. Um, so have fun with this one. It's called Animate Lock Screen and it's one dollar from the Big Boss repo. So as always, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to go to jailbreakcity.com if you want to check out some more themes and tweaks and read some more reviews. Make sure to click the like button if you like this video and leave all your comments down below if you uh, think that I missed any tweaks or if you want to include some tweaks of your own. Make sure to leave all of that in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe for some more videos just like this. This is Justin from Jailbreak City and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.